Silly Little Beaver Children's Books Read Aloud! Mark the Mighty Muskrat. Epic Battle with Muscular Dystrophy. The Diagnosis. This book is dedicated to my incredible son. He was diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy when he was almost four years old. My son is the definition of a true warrior who will never give up on the battle that lays before him. Your mommy, sister, and I are right there fighting with you now and forever. Love, your daddy, Luke Deline. Written by Luke Deline. Illustrated by Lene Deline. Like most muskrats his age, Mark loved to play. Climbing trees, running in the forest, and jumping around all day. It wasn't until he was maybe four or five years old, Mark noticed his legs would often ache and had trouble being controlled. One day he asked his mommy what caused his legs to feel so tired. She wasn't exactly sure, so she brought Mark to the doctor the family admired. Mark and his mommy walked into the waiting room filled with boys his own age. He couldn't help but notice all of the boys had legs that hurt, each in a different stage. Some walked around just like him, and some had metal tied to the outside of their leg. Some of the boys sat in chairs with wheels, like his new friend, Matthew Gregg. Mark didn't say anything, not sure what to expect. He just sat down in a black office chair, waiting to be checked. Finally, Mark stood up as the doctor called his name. As he got closer to the office with his mommy, the more nervous he became. After speaking with the doctor, his mommy turned to Mark. They are running some tests and we will come back soon, but now let's go to the park. A few weeks passed and nothing seemed to change. Mark's legs would still get tired faster than his friends, which seemed to him strange. Then one day, Mark's mommy received a call, and the results were finally in. They went back to the same doctor's office, where they had already been. The doctor explained to Mark and his mommy what was causing his legs to ache. In simple terms, Mark's pain was from the lack of a protein his body did not make. He explained that everyone's bodies are different and sometimes things go wrong. For Mark, it was nothing he did at all. His muscles just weren't as strong. The doctor let both Mark and his mommy know how everything will progress. The important thing to remember, he said, is to make sure you get plenty of rest. If your muscles feel sore, sit down for a while until you feel better. He handed Mark's mommy a bunch of material, including a long letter. They set up another appointment and were told to write their questions on a list. Doctors around the world are working hard to find a cure, though one doesn't currently exist. As they left the office, Mark could see there was sadness on his mommy's face. It's okay, mommy, he said. There's plenty of time left in this race. Perhaps it's true Mark didn't fully understand the situation he was in. Or maybe... He was born a true fighter who only knew one thing, to win. The road of life can be rocky and unpaved in certain spots. There's just no time to sit around and fill your mind 
with negative thoughts. The greatest chance that Mark has in life, along with others who have the same disease, is to raise your voice, break out your fists, and help bring muscular dystrophy to its knees. The end. Thank you so much for going on that adventure with me. Please be sure to comment with your thoughts and subscribe to the channel. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> I'm going to find something to eat now. Bye-bye. <laughs>